and then you'll hear the thunder afterwards. Suzanne Purcell is a supervisory chemist with RDECOM's Edgewood Chemical Biological Center. She has worked for the government for 34 years. She started as a typist, but went back to school to earn an associate's degree in laboratory science technology from Harford Community College and her bachelor's degree in chemistry from Towson University. Procell's start in STEM outreach began small. Her husband Larry is also a chemist with ECBC, and her oldest daughter came home from school one day and talked her parents into doing a presentation for her science class. And the other teachers would say, can you come to my classroom and do the same thing with my students? And I'm working full time. It was just hard. You couldn't, I felt like I couldn't get everywhere all the time. But I wanted to share what I was sharing with my children and with their classrooms with everybody. And then it occurred to me, uh, hey, ECBC's got all these great scientists, you know, chemical chemists, engineers, biologists, toxicologists, you, you name it, we've got every flavor. Um, if I could just somehow get them to come out, then, then we could go to all these classrooms. Purcell was a member of the American Chemical Society and learned about their STEM outreach program, Kids in Chemistry. She got permission from ECBC leadership to work on the program and to speak to her fellow chemists and scientists. And she was successful. We, we don't get paid to go into a classroom and do science with students. We, most of the volunteers do it on their scheduled day off, which we all know what, you know, your SDOs, uh, or they'll take, they'll take leave. But it's their wisdom, it's their knowledge, it's their enthusiasm, it's each volunteer that, that gives up some of their time and gives some of their self and their expertise to that child that makes the program wonderful. Procell said there's been a lot of changes since she got started in January of 2000, but one thing has not changed. The, the smile on this child's face when you do an experiment with them and they, they get it, and they physically are manipulating solutions and mixing and stirring and, and this wonderful color change occurs or something goes pop, that's the same. She feels the outreach programs like Kids in Chemistry are very important and she offers advice to anyone considering volunteering. Find your passion and then find a way to share it. For Army Technology Live, I'm Dennis Neal.